President Obama, as we spoke a little earlier, has a lot to work on. He was given a huge plate with a lot of issues and, comparatively speaking, has had more than any other president in recent history at the beginning of their term. Having said that, I think there was a realization, especially with what happened in Massachusetts, um, that the president, the White House, the Democratic Party, all of us Democrats need to do a better job of making sure that we understand the anger and frustration among those voters. And really what's interesting is that we can, we can sort of thread the needle again about why the Democrats lost that seat, but at the end of the day, voters, independent voters, were upset that their, the health care bill was actually going, was not going through as, maybe as quickly as possible or it wasn't the health care bill that they wanted. And that, unlike the first year of President Bush's presidency, what we've had is obstructionist Republicans on the Hill voting in line with an automatic no each and every time. And so every time there's something large, such as a stimulus package or anything else, we've actually had to have obstruct, uh, push back on the obstructionist inside and outside of the Hill. It's very, very different where we had uh, actually Ted Kennedy leading the charge and actually attempting to work with President Bush. And that is a major difference we see within the two administrations. Juan Carlos, uh, are the, have the political events of this week uh, made it more likely uh, that the president is going to seek Republican help on getting his initiatives passed, and does that put him closer to being on the right track, in your view? Well, the initial reaction from the White House is that nothing happened, and uh, they are going to push for this health care reform, a health care reform that the more people find out about it, the more they, they dislike. Uh, I, I think that it's very risky for President Obama to continue this path. Uh, the transparency his promise of transparency has been destroyed uh, over the, the negotiations of this health care bill. Versus remember the candidate Obama just a year, a year and a half ago promised that all negotiations regarding health care will be televised on C-SPAN. He broke that promise blatantly. And, and people are seeing this. Independent voters are leaving him in, in droves. Uh, even Democrats are turning against him. And let's not blame here Republicans for, for, for what's going on in Capitol Hill. Let's remember that. A lot of uh, Democratic congressmen, the, the so-called blue dogs in, 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 the, in the House of Representatives, are also scared of, of, of President Obama's agenda because they see it like leaning too far to the left, uh, so far to the left that not even uh, voters in Massachusetts are willing to, to uh, don't have a stomach for it. Maria? I just want to, those blue dog Democrats, uh, I want to make sure everyone understands, that's because we have in our party people who normally would be moderate Republicans. There's no room in their party for people who support choice, for example, or some sense of uh, uh, a role for government. And so they're in our party. And that is, in fact, a difficulty that um, is little understood, but we're seeing played out mm -hmm. over and over. I think that um, I want to also remind people uh, we lost one Senate seat. We still have. 59. And uh, I was uh, in Washington in 1994 when we lost control of the House and the Senate. And trust me, that's, this is not as bad. And so <laughs> we've got something to work with, and we've got a president and a team that's committed to just get up every day and do what the American people need them to do. Danny, quick point, and then I want to spend a little time on it, uh, immigration before we close. I, I, I think it's seismic. I disagree. Right? I think it, it really is significant, uh, the fact that you you lost Teddy Kennedy's Senate seat after having been uh, in Democratic control for 46 years. First time a Republican has been elected to the Senate in 38 years. It really was a message that was being sent, and, the, and it was too much, too big, too fast, and the Republicans had to ha, had to act as a, as a dam to, to stem that that tidal wave that was coming. So, uh, bully for them. I would say that the Democrats have been given a gift, I think, at this point. This loss in Massachusetts gives the, the, the Democrats an opportunity to hit the reset button and look to be able to come together. I agree we need to come together. We need to work in a bipartisan way, but it can't be my way the highway. We've got to find ways to come together and actually work in the best interest of the American people.